The Case of Illusions from Petra Chapter 1 The Mysterious Illusions The sun beat down mercilessly upon the arid landscape of Jordan's Wadi Musa, casting the ancient city of Petra in a golden hue. Archaeologist Jonathan Foster stood at the entrance to this fabled city, his eyes scanning the imposing sandstone cliffs that concealed its secrets. Petra was a place steeped in history, a testament to the ingenuity of its Nabataean builders, but it was also a place of mystery, where ancient legends and modern-day wonders intertwined. Jonathan had been drawn to Petra by reports of strange occurrences, sightings of bizarre optical illusions that seemed to haunt the desert canyons. As an archaeologist specializing in ancient civilizations, he was intrigued by the possibility that these illusions were somehow linked to the enigmatic ruins that lay hidden within Petra's labyrinth and passageways. Accompanied by his trusted guide, Malik, Jonathan ventured deeper into the heart of Petra, his senses heightened by the anticipation of what lay ahead. The canyon walls rose high above them, their towering heights casting deep shadows upon the rocky terrain. But Jonathan's attention was focused not on the grandeur of his surroundings, but on the peculiar phenomena that had brought him here. As they made their way through the ancient city, Jonathan couldn't help but marvel at the sheer skill of Petra's architecture. Carved into the rose-red sandstone cliffs were elaborate facades and intricate tombs, their intricate designs a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of the Nabataeans. But amidst the grandeur of these ancient monuments, there was an air of unease, a sense that something was amiss in this once thriving metropolis. It was as they approached the iconic treasury, with its imposing facade carved into the cliff face, that Jonathan first encountered the illusions. At first, they appeared as nothing more than shimmering mirages dancing on the horizon, their forms flickering and wavering in the desert heat. But as he drew closer, Jonathan realized that these illusions were far more than tricks of the eye, they were manifestations of something inexplicable and otherworldly. Intrigued by the phenomena, Jonathan pressed on, his footsteps echoing against the ancient cobblestones as he ventured deeper into the heart of Petra. With each passing moment, the illusions seemed to grow more elaborate, their forms twisting and contorting in the shifting light. But despite his best efforts, Jonathan found himself unable to explain the strange occurrences that surrounded him. Jonathan realized he had found something far more amazing than he could have ever dreamed of as the sun began to set and long shadows began to spread across the desert. Petra's illusions were more than simply an interesting curiosity, they were a riddle that cried out to be answered and a mystery that had to be revealed. With a sense of determination burning bright within him, Jonathan resolved to uncover the truth behind the illusions of Petra, no matter the cost. For he knew that the secrets of this ancient city held the key to unlocking a mystery that had remained hidden for centuries, and he was determined to be the one to unlock its secrets. Chapter 2 Exploring the Labyrinth as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, bathing the ancient city of Petra in a soft golden glow, Jonathan Foster prepared to embark on his quest to unravel the mysteries that lay hidden within its labyrinthine passageways. Accompanied by his guide, Malik, he set out once more into the heart of the desert canyon, his mind filled with anticipation and curiosity. Their journey led them deeper into the heart of Petra, where towering cliffs and rocky outcrops loomed overhead, casting deep shadows upon the sun-drenched landscape. As they navigated the narrow pathways and winding staircases that crisscrossed the city, Jonathan couldn't help but marvel at the sheer scale of the ancient architecture that surrounded him. 
carved into the rose-red sandstone cliffs were a myriad of structures, from towering tombs and elaborate temples to intricate facades adorned with intricate carvings and inscriptions. Each new discovery filled Jonathan with a sense of wonder and awe as he marveled at the ingenuity and craftsmanship of the Nabataean builders who had constructed these marvels millennia ago. But amidst the grandeur of Petra's ancient monuments, there was an air of mystery and intrigue that seemed to hang in the air like a veil. Strange symbols and cryptic inscriptions adorned the walls of the rock-cut chambers, their meanings lost to the passage of time. And everywhere Jonathan looked, he saw signs of the illusions that had drawn him here, shimmering mirages that danced and flickered in the desert heat, distorting the landscape in strange and unsettling ways. Jonathan continued walking into the center of Petra, his footsteps booming on the old cobblestones as he did so, determined to find the explanation for these mysterious occurrences. The illusions appeared more complex as time went on, their shapes bending and distorting in the changing light. But despite his best efforts, Jonathan found himself no closer to unraveling the mystery that surrounded him. The illusions of Petra remained as elusive as ever, taunting him with their enigmatic presence and defying his attempts to understand them. As the day wore on and the sun reached its zenith, Jonathan and Malik found themselves standing at the entrance to a narrow canyon that wound its way deeper into the heart of Petra. Known as the Sick, this winding passageway was flanked by towering cliffs that rose high into the sky, their shadowy depths concealing secrets that have remained hidden for centuries. With a sense of anticipation building within him, Jonathan prepared to venture into the Sick, his senses alert to any signs of the illusions that had plagued him since his arrival in Petra. With each step he took, the walls of the canyon seemed to close in around him, their towering heights casting deep shadows upon the rocky terrain. But despite the eerie atmosphere, Jonathan pressed on, his curiosity driving him forward into the unknown. As they ventured deeper into the sick, the air grew cooler and the shadows darker, until it felt as though they were walking through a world of shadows and whispers. It was amidst the gloom of the sick that Jonathan first encountered the source of the illusions, a series of ancient mechanisms hidden within the rock, their purpose shrouded in mystery. As he examined the intricate carvings and enigmatic symbols that adorned the walls, Jonathan realized that he was standing on the threshold of a discovery that could change everything. But before he could unravel the secrets of the mechanisms, Jonathan was confronted by a new obstacle, a group of shadowy figures who seemed intent on preventing him from uncovering the truth. With their faces hidden beneath dark cloaks, they moved with an eerie grace, their movements silent and calculated as they advanced towards him. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, Jonathan prepared to defend himself against the mysterious assailants, his fists clenched in anticipation. But before the confrontation could escalate, a blinding light filled the canyon, illuminating the darkness and revealing the true nature of the illusions. Chapter 3 The Guardian of Secrets as the blinding light faded and the darkness of the sick enveloped them once more, Jonathan Foster found himself standing at the precipice of a new discovery. The ancient mechanisms hidden within the rock walls had been revealed, their intricate carvings and enigmatic symbols illuminated by the sudden burst of light. But even as Jonathan marveled at the sight before him, he knew that their journey was far from over. With a renewed sense of determination burning bright within him, Jonathan pressed on, his footsteps echoing against the rocky terrain as he ventured deeper into the heart of the sick. 
The air was thick with anticipation as they made their way through the narrow passageway, the towering cliffs looming overhead like silent sentinels guarding the secrets of Petra. As they journeyed deeper into the sick, Jonathan couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched, as if unseen eyes followed their every move from the shadows. But he refused to let fear cloud his judgment, his curiosity driving him forward into the unknown. It was amidst the gloom of the sick that Jonathan first encountered the Guardians of Petra, a group of shadowy figures who seemed to materialize out of the darkness, their faces hidden beneath dark cloaks. With a sense of foreboding, Jonathan realized that these mysterious beings were the ones responsible for the illusions that had plagued him since his arrival in Petra. With a steely resolve burning bright within him, Jonathan prepared to confront the Guardians, his mind racing with thoughts of the ancient secrets that lay hidden within the city's labyrinth and passageways. But before he could make a move, Malik stepped forward, his voice calm yet firm as he addressed the shadowy figures. We mean you no harm, Malik said, his words echoing in the silence of the sick. We seek only to uncover the truth behind the illusions that have plagued this ancient city. The guardians regarded Malik with a gaze that seemed to pierce straight through to his soul, their expressions unreadable beneath the masks of shadow. And then, with a silent nod, they stepped aside, allowing Jonathan and Malik to pass. With a sense of relief washing over him, Jonathan pressed on, his senses alert to any signs of danger that might lie ahead. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the sick, the air grew colder and the shadows darker, until it felt as though they were walking through a world of shadows and whispers. But despite the eerie atmosphere, Jonathan refused to be deterred. With each passing moment, he felt a sense of anticipation building within him, a feeling that they were on the verge of a discovery that could change everything. And as they reached the end of the sick, Jonathan knew that their journey was far from over. Before them lay a vast chamber carved into the heart of the rock, its walls adorned with ancient symbols and intricate carvings. In the center of the chamber stood a towering pedestal, upon which rested a small object, a key that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. With a sense of awe and wonder washing over him, Jonathan approached the pedestal, his hands trembling with anticipation as he reached out to touch the ancient artifact. But before he could make contact, a voice echoed through the chamber, sending a shiver down his spine. Who dares to disturb the sanctity of Petra? The voice boomed, its tone echoing with a power that seemed to shake the very foundations of the earth. Speak now, or face the consequences of your actions. With a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach, Jonathan knew that they were not alone in the chamber. And as he turned to face the source of the voice, he realized that their journey was far from over. Chapter 4 Unraveling the Secrets as Jonathan Foster stood in the vast chamber carved into the heart of Petra, his heart pounding in his chest, he knew that they had stumbled upon something far more extraordinary than he could have ever imagined. The voice that echoed through the chamber seemed to reverberate through his very bones, its power undeniable as it demanded answers. Jonathan, terror seething within him, mustered all his bravery and came forward, his voice unwavering. With his voice resonating through the chamber's silence, I am Jonathan Foster, archaeologist and seeker of truth, he answered. We seek only to uncover the secrets of Petra and reveal the truth hidden within its walls. As he spoke, Jonathan couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched, as if unseen eyes followed their every move from the shadows. 
but he refused to let fear claw his judgment, his determination unwavering in the face of adversity. We seek only to uncover the secrets of Petra and reveal the truth hidden within its walls. The voice fell silent for a moment, its presence still palpable in the air as Jonathan waited for a response. And then, with a low rumble that seemed to shake the very foundations of the chamber, the voice spoke once more. You have shown courage and determination in your quest for knowledge, it said, its tone softer now, as if touched by a hint of sympathy. But be warned, the secrets of Petra are not easily revealed, and the path you tread is fraught with danger. With those words, the voice fell silent once more, leaving Jonathan and Malik alone in the chamber with nothing but their thoughts and the weight of the ancient city pressing down upon them. But despite the uncertainty that lay ahead, Jonathan knew that they were on the verge of uncovering something truly extraordinary, something that could change the course of history forever. With a sense of determination burning bright within him, Jonathan turned his attention to the pedestal at the center of the chamber, where the ancient artifact lay waiting. With each step he took, he felt a sense of anticipation building within him, a feeling that they were on the brink of a discovery that could change everything. As he reached out to touch the artifact, Jonathan felt a surge of energy coursing through his veins, as if the very air around him crackled with power. With a trembling hand, he picked up the object, feeling its weight in his palm as he examined it closely. It was a key, a small, intricately carved object made of a strange, glowing material that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. As Jonathan turned the key over in his hands, he realized that it was unlike anything he had ever seen before, its surface covered in ancient symbols and enigmatic carvings. With a sense of awe and wonder washing over him, Jonathan knew that the key held the key to unlocking the secrets of Petra. But before he could unravel its mysteries, he was interrupted by a sudden commotion from the entrance to the chamber. Turning to face the source of the disturbance, Jonathan saw a group of shadowy figures emerging from the darkness, their faces hidden beneath dark cloaks. With a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach, he realized that they were the guardians of Petra, the ones responsible for protecting the city's secrets from prying eyes. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, Jonathan prepared to defend himself against the mysterious assailants, his fists clenched in anticipation. But before the confrontation could escalate, a blinding light filled the chamber, illuminating the darkness and revealing the true nature of the illusions. As Jonathan's eyes adjusted to the brightness, he realized that the illusions were not just tricks of the mind, but a form of ancient technology designed to protect the secrets of Petra from prying eyes. And as he stood amidst the glowing mechanisms, he knew that he was on the cusp of a discovery that could change the course of history. Once the Petra guardians were vanquished and the mysteries of the ancient city finally unraveled, Jonathan and Malik triumphantly exited the room, their emotions brimming with amazement and a sense of success. They knew that their mission was far from done when they returned to the surface, but they were prepared to face any obstacles that lay ahead, ready to face the darkness and shine light once more on the shadows. They had courage and determination. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.